Hey everyone, this is Steven from New Game Plus. Uh, I didn't feel like doing a full review for Ali Ali, but I did have a few thoughts on it, particularly uh, just the control scheme. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty unique. Um, and basically by unique, I just mean that it's not the same as all the other games. Uh, clearly sucking. Um, with Ali Ali, it controls pretty different from a lot of other games, and basically how you would think it would control. I mean it. It's essentially like it's it's wrapped up as like a skating game, but you would think that it's or I mean it's basically just a platformer, like a a, a runner in particular, um, <clears throat> because you you pretty much just you move automatically. You can adjust your speed a little bit, but um, it's mostly a, a platformer. Uh, not it's not a skating game in the same way that uh, the Tony Hawk games were, or even Skate. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that this is the most accurate representation of skater culture, and I agree and, wow, and disagree with that. Um, there's a lot of reasons, but basically, I want to talk about the control scheme because... <laughs> um, Ollie Ollie is unique in that the X button, which for most games and most platformers, is actually the jump button. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4, by the way, so I'm talking X button. Um, it's mostly the jump button for a lot of things. Uh, it, actually, that is the button that you use to, to land tricks. So you see that I'm getting different ratings when I land, whether it's uh, sick or sloppy or sick. Um, you want perfect, like that. Um, so you hit the X button to land. You you never use the X button to jump. Um, and, and that's the probably the biggest hurdle that people will have when they're playing Ollie Ollie is is just getting used to not using the X button to jump. It's just something that's that's ingrained into into a lot of gamers, I think. Uh, especially because Ollie Ollie does something that uh, I haven't really been forced to do in a long time, and that's to learn a new control scheme. I mean, back in the day, like when you're playing, I just remember like on on the PlayStation, you know, every single game. Uh, had had a new control scheme and you had to you had to learn it you couldn't just jump in from one game to the other and then kind of towards the end of the ps2 era I think and and definitely in the last generation ps3 Xbox 360 uh, controls became more mm, standard uh, you know you pretty much you pretty much had controls uh, and you could pretty much pick up any type of genre of a game and get the controls fairly easy um, you know, you didn't need a whole lot of tutorials to go through them. But that's not the case here with Ollie Ollie. You definitely need a tutorial. Most most games have kind of a throwaway tutorial, even though I myself like going through them. Ollie Ollie doesn't, you know, you actually need the tutorial. And the reason for that is because, like I said, the X button, which, which, which you would think is the jump button, is the button that you finish everything off with, actually. You jump with the left stick and you do all of your tricks with the left stick. So whenever you see me pop up like that, that was with the left stick, and landing very sloppily as I did was with the left stick, and you also grind with the left stick. Pretty much everything trick-wise is done with the left stick, so you just you just push it in a direction to grind. You don't hit any other button except for that, and it's all about timing, really. Um, it's about timing, and uh, you can do a trick if you want, you know, just by spinning it a certain way, or, ooh, made it cool. Um, or you can spin with the uh, shoulder buttons. That's kind of standard, is, is spinning with the shoulder buttons. But I thought it was really unique that um, the the left stick was used for basically everything. You you just land with the X button. It's, it's really interesting. It sounds kind of strange, but it, it, it kind of oddly it works. Um, except for times where it just flat out doesn't. That's like one of my main problems with the game is... The controls just don't seem to respond sometimes, particularly uh, if you're trying to do a trick off of a rail uh, from grinding. It seems like you have to move the stick a lot quicker than you would normally, and it's just it's a different type of speed. Like the, the you know using the stick as you would on the ground is not the same as you would want to use it on a rail, and that can just lead to some you know maybe your score is not as high as it would be or whatnot, or you didn't pull a trick that you wanted to. It's not a huge deal. Um, Trick modifiers are done with the shoulder buttons, the same as the spin. And that actually does lead to some problems, because 
at times when you want to do, oh, I just, let me start a level, oh well. At times when you would just want to modify a trick like that, you might accidentally spin and you can't uh, grind a rail when you're spinning. So uh, that leads to some issues. And, and I suppose you could say that uh, if you were really invested, you would know what tricks you're doing all the time. You would know the timing for them and things like that. That's not me. I'm just kind of uh, doing what I please. Ooh, ooh, that's a really good example. <laughs> I didn't intend to actually spin there. I just wanted to modify my trick. But since the game thought I wanted to spin, I missed that rail. Um, I, I personally feel that that's just more tailored to like an extremely hardcore audience. And uh, I think that most people are not going to care about frames of animation for individual tricks and things like that. And they're probably just wanting to modify their tricks, if anything. And that's probably something that could have been could have been taken care of a little bit, um, freeing up some some of the timing for for animations for landing in particular. I feel um, uh, it's it's a big problem later on in the game when uh, you uh, they give you a bunch of surfaces that you're not really meant to skate on for a long period of time. You're pretty much meant to like land and immediately jump and immediately jump again because you'll just bail if you keep going um, and landing can be a problem because if you here i'll show you land sloppily then you don't have control over your character and you will almost certainly fail again that's that's just part of uh you know games get harder as they go on but uh when i oftentimes feel that it's not really my fault and that it's the controller's fault um or, or the game's fault i should say it's not it's not something that I'm lacking because I, you know, I know how to move a stick or whatever. But overall, I actually really like Ali Ali. Um, it's really simple. I, I mean, once you get past the uh, the difficulty in the control scheme, it's really simple, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I think it'd be like a perfect mobile game. And it, it, you know, funny enough, it is. This game originally came out on the Vita, I believe. So if you've got a Vita, um, this game is pretty cheap, and you should probably pick it up. Even if you don't, I think it's a lot of fun. But Ollie Ollie is great, and it's one of those games where you immediately, ooh, you immediately know if this game's for you. Um, I think the one and only caveat is is the control scheme, where that was the one thing that caught me off guard. I did not expect to have to learn a new control scheme, and I thought that was really interesting um, because that's just something that you don't see in games anymore, for better or for worse. Um, I think that's probably for the for the better. Uh, I think in this case, Ali Ali just kind of gets away with it. Um, that's not something that gamers have had to do in the last almost 10 years, I think, is just learning new control schemes. I just, cause I just, it just harkens back to the day when every game had its own control scheme. And some of them today, like if you try and go back to play them, you're just like, why was, you know, the L1 button to crouch or, or, or whatever, just, just strange shit. But, uh, those are kind of my thoughts on on Ali Ali and and basically I just wanted to do this to to talk about learning new control schemes and what you guys thought about that. Um, if you like that all the games nowadays have you know similar control schemes, which I think is a pretty good idea. Um, yeah, leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever. We'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.